So you own a Samsung from S24 series device like S24 Ultra, S24 Plus or S24 or even S23 series device or even S22 and you want a native call recorder, native I mean native coming from Samsung dialer or you want to use Samsung Pay in your not supported country or you want to use a color ID coming from Samsung again not supported in your country this video is for you I'm Ross and I'll show you how to make it work let's do it okay guys this is my Samsung S24 Ultra and today I will show you how you can change your CSC or country specific code what is that? I will show you just in a second if you go in settings about for and here you can scroll to the menu service provider software version and here are all the CSCs of your device. What is uh, that CSC? Samsung are trying to limit us to use a specific features like call recording which is forbidden in European countries and US and most of the countries. And by switching that uh, country code, we can enable these functions. So, first I will just try to explain you a little bit. Here, where it is uh, that service provider software version, you can see there is a SMS928B and this is your phone model. This one is stands for S24 Ultra and uh, this is the global version international version which ends to b and uh, there are all also versions which uh, ends to u which stands for north america there is also version and to w which is for canada and also there is a version with uh, zero which is for china and lastly there is version and with a uh, letter n which is for south korea Keep in mind, today's video is only for the international version. If you have international version, you can switch to other country code which can use native call recorder or other specific functions. But if you have a US version and uh, with U, sorry guys, you can't use those features. Only the international version can use those features. And this stands for S23 series and S22 series again so first after the model number there is an oxm which is my main csc and i can't change that after that is my active csc which is eux which is for europe because i live in bulgaria and this is my csc when i bought the phone it came with that csc and we need to switch it and change to a csc which is supporting native call recorder Samsung S Pay and so on and so on many other features First I just want to show you that my call recording is not uh, active now You can see when I call myself my work number there is a missing button for call recording We can't record a call. Let's move now to our computer and start the preparation BAM now we are on our computer and from here the most important part is to open that web page samfw.com I will show you here for a second how you can check your device For example I will enter my model number which is S928B and immediately it is showing my, no my model is Galaxy S24 Ultra SMS928 8b when i click on it it will load the page and if we scroll down you can find all the cscs you can see this device is supporting all this csc for asia mostly where we can enable native call recording we have lots of countries here these are all the cscs and all the countries for asia we have it here for europe here is mine eux we have it for North America, we have it for South America, Africa and other countries too like New Zealand and Australia. So here are all the countries. Let me just show you if I enter the device model S928U which is for North America. When I tap here you can see we have only United States. That's why we can't switch to a CSC supported 
native call recording because we have here the options only for United States. So when you find your device and you already check that uh, you can switch to a country supported uh, native call recorder, I will just show you for a minute. Here we have all the CSEs supporting native call recorder like INS, DHL, XXV and IO and ILO and also I will uh, this will be in video description but I will uh, just uh, show you that INS support call recorder, call ID and SP. So everything that you need from Samsung. Here also you have an XXV call recording and SP only and so on. You can check that in video description and select your CSC. We need to go here on that section other tools when you click on it and here you will find some FWFRP tool and here is the latest version 481 remove Samsung FRP which stands for factory reset protection but it has also other options like change CSC also this tool supporting Odin flash so you can download a firmware for uh, from that website and flash it via or uh, that tool here at the bottom of the page you have here a direct download link just hit on it and download somewhere on your computer okay when you download uh, that tool just install it and launch it here is mine i will just launch it the program when uh, it's launched it will check for updates you are using latest version or not here we have a bunch of options but here you need to select first on the upper left corner Samsung because we are using Samsung device and after you select that be sure you go to this ADB tab when you select that tab you can you need to click change CSC and you can see what's written no device selected we need to connect our phone to the computer and now let's move to the phone just to explain you what to do until you are here on the software version and you scroll to the build number you need to tap seven times here you can see enter your passcode and now it's written developer mode has been enabled now and scroll to the bottom of the settings you will find that developer options tap on it scroll down and find that option usb debugging just enable it click ok and now we are ready here here on the computer you need to download that sdk platform tools release here you will find all the necessary files for adb commands and drivers of course just download for windows mac or linux select your operating system download and just extract it somewhere on your computer just go to the folder where you already extracted these platform tools also you probably will need a samsung usb driver i will include that in video description also i will include a link to these platform tools here is the folder where all the platform tools are extracted if you are using uh, windows just tap here on that field and write cmd hit enter and command prompt will start to that folder and this is exactly what we need now when you enable developer mode on your phone just connect it to the computer via usb cable here my advice is to use the original cable coming in the box of your device now our phone is connected to the computer give it a minute to your windows computer for all the preparations and drivers and when you are ready go again to this command prop and write adb devices and hit enter now you can see a pop-up message appear on my phone here you need to select and allow this will give a permissions to our computer to communicate with our developer options now here on the computer you can see that list of devices attached and you can see that number if you have uh, a number similar to this 
Now that means your device is properly connected to the computer and when everything is ready you need to go now in this some FW2 latest version again Samsung ADB tab and from here select change CSC you can see here we have already a MTP driver connected Samsung mobile USB modem to COM6 of my uh, computer if you have something like this that means your device is connected now hit change CSC you can see reading the list of uh, CSC all the available CSCs are here and now phone supported CSC just select one of the CSC one of the CSCs you already checked and liked I will select ILO just to show you how everything is work here it is ILO and you can select THL INS and remember link for the CSC supporting native call recorder will be in video description when you select your desired CSC just hit change and of course give it some time this test mode is already started on uh, your device but if it's uh, not starting uh, automatically just go to your dialer and dial star hash zero hash star and this uh, test mode will be enabled and you can see everything is ready now my device is uh, restarting itself here it's written buy me a coffee of course you can uh, buy a coffee to the developers of this uh, program this tool it will be very useful to continue their work and you can see ILO is ok rebooting ok and everything should be fine with our device without resetting it without losing any data now let's just disconnect the phone from the computer and just check what's really happened service provider software version and you can see my active CSC now is ILO let's check we have a call recording or we still miss it and you can see even it's written here turn on color ID and spam protection to identify so color ID is already working if you tap here on the three dots and select settings you can see we have the option to record the cows auto record cows here you will uh, go to your recorded cows and show notification after recording so we already have the option for recording a cows natively that means you can hear both sides both sides perfectly you can see what's happened now if i hit the record it will start recording my call it's written rec and it's recording my calls so when i'm ready just hit to and i already have a notification for call recorded let's hit select uh, which application should uh, play the sound never mind it's not important i will select samsung music and here will be internal storage recordings co there will be audio stored co recording and that was it guys simple as that now we have a native co recorder this is s24 ultra this will work for s23 ultra and for s22 ultra series so just follow that guide thanks for watching and have a nice day